For a highlighter effect, here's what you can do. I'm going to come up to the Insert tab, choose the Shapes menu, and we want to select this tool right here called Freeform. Once you click on that, then you can just click on your slide several times like I'm doing here to draw a shape that you want to use for your highlighter. And you can see I'm making mine you know, kind of jaggedy, and that's just because it's going to look a little bit more natural and organic that way, more like a real highlighter would, instead of making everything completely perfect and symmetrical. And once you draw the shape, then you can go ahead and format it. So up on the Format tab, we want to choose the Shape Fill. And I like yellow for a highlighter, but you can choose whatever color you like. And then for Shape Outline, we're going to choose No Outline. Okay, the next step is we want to give this a wipe animation so that it looks like it's being drawn onto the slide from left to right. Up on the Animations tab, if you don't see the wipe option already visible, you can click on this little button here to expand the list, and that's the one we want to choose right there, Wipe. And you might have noticed that it wipes from the bottom to the top. That's really not going to look very um, realistic that way, so we want to change the direction so that it goes from left to right like this. The other thing that's kind of nice here is that you can slow it down a little bit too because this default speed that it gets at first, which is uh, half a second, is a little bit fast. So you can play with the timing, but I think that increasing this to about two seconds seems to work pretty well. And then the last thing we want to do is just kind of size this up over a word and then we'll send it to the back so that it's not covering up the text. So in the Format tab, we'll choose Send Backward and then Send to Back. And that way it's not going to cover anything up. Now the neat thing about this is that once you've drawn that shape, you can reuse it for any word because you can just resize it and reposition it as needed. So I'm going to do a Control C here to copy it and then a Control V to paste and then we'll apply it down here as well so you can see what that looks like. We'll size this up a little bit so it won't look exactly the same as the other mark and then we'll send this to the back as well. So that's pretty much it. And now up on the Articulate menu we'll preview just this slide and we'll see how, it, how this would look if we were to publish this highlighting effect. Okay, so here's our slide and then our first highlighting comes on about right now. There it is and then the second one should be right down here. And that looks pretty good.